In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, a Microsoft or Bing Ads uh, conversion tracking on your Shopify store. So let's get started. I decided to record this video tutorial because Microsoft Ads documentation are really confusing and uh, other YouTube tutorials also not useful because they not, not show you how to pass dynamically value uh, using Bing Ads for Shopify. To avoid all these confusions, I've decided to record this video. Here is an article that's very useful from Bing documentation, and it is not the default documentation for Bing Ad tutorial, and uh, I don't know why the, this uh, link is hidden. I will leave this link in the description below for you to follow and uh, what we need to do first of all is to create our uh, UET tag let me jump into Microsoft uh, Ads account here you need to click tools and UET tag and there uh, you need to create new tag or uh, just click action view tag and uh, copy your tag press ok uh, then we need to go into your Shopify theme, uh, click uh, online store theme, uh, actions and edit code. So I go to theme, press three dots, uh, click edit code, click on theme liquid file, scroll down and here is my closing head tag. Here I paste my UET code and press save. Uh, then I go to settings check out and, and accounts, scroll down, paste the same UET code here under additional scripts. And let's jump back to article. In order to pass dynamic parameters for our UET tag, uh, we need to copy uh, the code below. There are two options. Uh, the first code is if you want to exclude taxes and shipping, it is a better version. But, uh, another option is to include taxes and shipping. I copy code uh, with, uh, as it excludes uh, taxes and shipping. Copy this code, jump back into Shopify. Under order status page additional scripts, I paste code for passing dynamic uh, revenue parameters under under my main UET tag. Here you can see that uh, we have two variables, subtotal price, pass our revenue, and also currency code, it's shop currency, will pass dynamically currency. Also we need to click save to save all the changes. I jump back into my Microsoft Ads account. I need to click uh, conversion goals and create a new conversion goal. Uh, here I select a website, click next, then select a conversion goal, it will be purchase. Uh, destination URL will work for me. Click next, then here I need to uh, name our goal, purchase. Destination URL, I you need to select contains and uh, here it, it will be thank you URL. Uh, for revenue, I need to select a value. Conversion action value may vary. It's uh, our option. Here we select uh, default uh, value. Can be your average order value in your store. And uh, then I click next. Here I need to click uh, yes, UAT tag is already installed and uh, click save next and uh, save and th that's all. Yeah, and uh, hope this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about e-commerce analytics and if you need help with web tracking or reporting for your Shopify brand then uh, check links in the description below.